He is four-time Pro Bowler, number 84, Herman Moore, and he's kind enough to join us here tonight. Herman, thank you so much, first of all, for taking the time. I know it's a busy time of year, and you and Lomas Brown are uh, breaking down some some Lions content. Is that right, on YouTube? Who's in better playing shape right now? Playing shape? Oh, that's me. Okay. Yeah, we were doing a little bit of that. So Lomas and I, we had an opportunity to work together over the years, and we thought that now that uh, – People are doing a lot more things virtually. We thought it'd be a great opportunity for us to start to uh, give our voices to what we think about sports. Yeah, two of the best. We talked a couple months ago when Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell were introduced and, and you were excited. And now the draft is over. It seems like you and Lomas together are excited. The Lions had a, a definite game plan, which was great. Uh, the fact that they could go in and uh, it, you know get some, some linemen which was going to be important. Uh, they they need some protection. I think they really want to make a commitment to the running game, uh, but also you bring in a new quarterback. So you got to have pass protection. You got to have confidence there, uh, but you got to be able to get the ball uh, to your offense. So you got to get people off the field. So there, there was a good mix. I thought they used some of the uh, picks later in the, you know, the draft in the fourth round and back. And I think Brad Holmes kind of hit the nail on the head when he said that needs are obviously important, but when you have so many of them, you know, what, what needs are there to address? Uh, so he, he, it really seemed like they made a focus of just drafting the best available player. Let me ask you this. Uh, what changes in the NFL have you seen since your playing days? Has the game changed at all? Is it more in the trenches? Is it less in the trenches? Obviously, there's a lot more speed, I think, than when you played. And, you know, Deion Sanders would have a problem with that. You know, he was a fast guy and Daryl Green was a fast guy. So. I, I know they got some really fast guys, but we we, we played against some fast guys. I want to make You're sure right. All they, right. You're they, right. They, they, had, they had less technology and they didn't <laughs> have the shoes and all the other gear and they're not wearing these big shoulder pads and all that stuff. So listen, things have changed with the rules. Things have changed, I think, in terms of how you, you manage football games. Uh, you don't see teams that are making a commitment to say, listen, I, I'm going to run the ball no matter what. And even if you try and stop us, we're going to continue to try and run because the guys have gotten bigger. Uh, they they are playing a little bit more fast uh, in certain areas. See, uh, there you go. See, yeah. all right. So and they're playing a little faster. And now, where I see that happening faster, and when I would say that, is along the line. Uh, your your interior alignment over under on the amount of wins for the Lions. I know it's early. It's right around four. What do you, what do you see with that? You think they're over that next season, or you think they're under it? This is going to be one of those years they've lost so many pieces and they had so many needs. I don't. It's not that you ever want to go into a season uh, underwhelmed or lacking optimism, but I think you have to be realistic and say, if if this team is not about being competitive, it's about can they develop players to be able to compete in the years to come? That's going to be the success I see with the Detroit Lions beyond the wins and losses this year. A great wide receiver, a great Detroit Lion, and an even better person. Herman Moore, thank you so much. Always got time for you, and I appreciate you having me on and look forward to speaking to you again.